oftentimes when I look at myself in the mirror, I tend to start picking myself apart. Do my clothes fit right? Do I look right in this? Am I losing enough weight? And even when I just put on lip gloss, it's like, am I putting it on right? Like, how can I mess up putting on lip gloss? It's just coconut oil. But I tend to pick at it and look at it and frown my face and just nitpick at me. Whether it be a new blemish, whether it be uneven skin tone, whether it be my hair. I love my locks, but am I really growing it the right way? Am I grooming it the way that I am supposed to be grooming it? Because I do it on my own. Even doubt. Am I going to be the person that I want to be today? Am I going to achieve all the goals that I set before me? Am I being a good mom? Am I being a good wife? Am I being a good friend? Is God really pleased with me? Am I really doing my best? Well, I told God, take this away. When I look in the mirror, I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to continue to be my worst critic. I just want to be me. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. Happy Friday! It is Friday and welcome back to another Friday Mommy Moment with me. And you don't need to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. I know y'all wondering like, why is she in the bathroom? Okay, before I get into that, y'all go ahead, if you're new here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. I, yeah, what? Did you say something about my mug? What? What? Did you, you say something about my mug? What? Hey! Yes! Of course, I am using one of the Secret Creations Moment mugs. Be sure to check out Seaward Creations at EtsyShop.com where you can get customized Moment mugs and Moment mugs designed by the Soren Seaward family. We look forward to sending you your very own Moment mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. Yes, this is one of the Secret Creations Moment Mug. The link to our Etsy shop is down in the description box. Go ahead and check us out. See you over there. All right, the first thing that we do on Friday Mommy Moments is shout outs. And today, I am shouting out who? You. Thank you so much for continuing to come back to Friday Mommy Moments, continuing to support our channel, continuing to support our vlogs. We appreciate you. Let me go ahead and uh, clap it up. Thank you so much for being a part of our family. We really, really, really appreciate you guys. And I'm just always overwhelmed and just thankful that you guys continue to still come back and live life and do life with us because we do life on this channel. So before we jump into this Friday mommy moment, you guys go ahead and grab whatever that you need, whether it be your coffee or tea, water, Whatever it is that you need to come and enjoy this topic with me, let's get into it, shall we? Yes, we shall. Y'all came back real quick though. Okay, I'm ready. Got a little table right here. Okay, you guys. The reason I am filming from the bathroom today is because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I tear myself to pieces the most when I am in the bathroom. We have multiple mirrors in here, so I'm always looking at myself from different angles, or I just get up and I look at myself and I notice like a new wrinkle, a new blemish, a new something that's not where it's supposed to be. I can watch something on TV and next thing you know, I feel like I had it, I feel like I'm experiencing it, or something can be going on just negative and I just take on all the concerns of the world in this bathroom. When I'm looking in the mirror, I can notice all my imperfections. Nothing on me is perfect. Nothing on me will ever be perfect. 
But I feel like when I come in this bathroom, when I look in that mirror, some days I just rip myself to shreds and I don't need any help doing it. And I want that to change. And I thought maybe if I came into this bathroom where I spend not a lot of time because with five kids and taking care of my mother, I really don't get that much time to myself. But a lot of times when it's just me alone, my mind can get to running. Whether I'm soaking in a tub, whether I'm jumping in the shower, whether I'm in the potty and there's somebody knocking and they interrupt the thought process. And I'm not saying all the time, I'm just saying, hmm, sometimes it happens. I look in that mirror and I become my worst enemy. And I thought maybe I should share that because maybe you experienced that too. So I was like, you know what? I always like to come here and I like to keep it 100 with you. I like to do life with you guys. But one thing I do know is I know that God don't want me doing that. When I look in that mirror, I know that God don't want me picking out everything that I feel is not right. Because he created me for a purpose. And in my mind, everything might be out of place. Well, not everything. Y'all know what I mean. It might not be out of place. That's the way it's supposed to be. A lot of times I'm like, oh, I wish that didn't look like that. Oh, I wish I didn't have that. All oh, this, all oh, that. Oh, how are you going to do today? Or, you know, my fears, my doubts of who I am, my insecurities, they kick in when I come in and I'm faced with a mirror and I'm looking at myself, I'm brushing my teeth and I'm like, oh man, you know, get your teeth. <laughs> my teeth aren't perfect. No, they're not. My skin isn't perfect, my hair isn't perfect, my body isn't perfect. And no, everybody can say everything isn't perfect. I know that, but there's things like my body don't look like how it used to look before. I've had babies. My skin, sometimes I look at other girls' skin and I just be like, oh man, they got some really good skin. They do. And I look at my skin and I'm just like, ugh, okay. Well, I don't like feeling like that. I don't like tearing myself up, even though sometimes I do do it. I don't, I don't like doing that. It doesn't make me feel good. It actually makes me feel worse than worse. So I said, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk to you guys about it. You guys, we have to look in the mirror, even on the days that we don't like what's looking back at us. And we have to encourage ourselves. Yes, there's people in our life that's gonna support us, and they're gonna encourage us, and they're gonna tell us, oh, you look beautiful, oh, this is nice, oh, this is awesome. But we have to learn to speak life into ourselves when nobody is around, when we are in those quiet moments just with ourselves. And in those quiet moments when we are just with ourselves and our fears are trying to go rampant and our doubts are trying to knock us down and our past is trying to come back into our present and take us into our future, we have to stop. That's what we have to do. We need to stop it. We need to speak scripture. We need to speak love into ourselves. We need to speak life into ourselves. We need to speak that positivity into ourselves. You are beautiful. God didn't make no mistake with you. You will conquer this today. Your anxiety ain't gonna get you today. Your depression ain't gonna get you today. That addiction is not gonna win today. We have to do that consistently. So therefore our burden, it still might be there, but on certain days it's not so heavy. And a lot of things that I pick at and that, and that I, that I you know, trip over, other people look at it like it's so amazing. I'd be like, are they looking at the same person? Are they talking to me? Because I don't know what they're talking about. So sometimes the things that we are complaining about, other people are like, man, that's awesome. We have to know that we are awesome. We have to know that we are amazing. Even on the days that we don't feel like it, even at the time when things in our life is just not going right, we have to know that we are doing the best that we can and we have to leave the rest. I can look in that mirror. I can look right here in this camera. And I can start picking away at everything I don't like. But you know what else? The world can also start picking at the things that it don't like about you. And if you're picking at things that you don't like about you, and the world is picking out things that you don't like about you, that's too much. Because God, <laughs> he's sitting back like, yep, that smile is awesome. Yep, your teeth are beautiful. Yeah. You're gonna reach that goal because I'm gonna help you get there. Nope, you're doing just fine. I'm proud of you, daughter. I'm proud of you, son. Don't give up. Keep going. 
So today I brought you guys into my space where sometimes I have a hard time. And as much as I love the mirrors and I love doing my hair and I love doing all those great things, a lot of times, sometimes in the mirror, I can beat myself up. And I'm like, nah. I want to tell myself and I want to tell you, let's try to make the bathroom and the mirrors our happy place. Might sound weird, but you get what I'm saying. Whether it's you when you're driving to work, you're thinking about all these things that's going wrong. Oh, your morning workout, your morning walk, something that you do where you know that it's that place where you get to and you start tearing yourself apart. I want you to start making that place your happy place. Can we agree on doing that? Can we not let ourselves tear ourselves apart? Let's not do that. The world is gonna do that already. They're gonna try to rip us to shreds. The enemy is gonna to try to make us think that we're just never gonna be good enough. And that's not what God says. In our battle of everyday life, he wants us still to know that we are conquerors. And I wanted to share this with you guys today. So stay encouraged. There's a lot going on in the world today. And we need to stay encouraged. So in case nobody told you today, keep fighting the good fight. And you guys, that's all I have for you today. So until next Friday, Lord willing, you guys stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seaver Family Channel, you are needed. See you next time. Peace out.